Hi, as a critical thinker, it's so important to understand the elements of an argument and how certain types of statements can affect the validity of an argument. As you learned in the readings this week, arguments are used to convince us of an outcome. You read about how to identify an issue, the role the issues play in arguments, how to differentiate between an argument and rhetoric, and the different types of arguments you may encounter. In this assignment, you will choose an issue to evaluate, then respond to the question about the issue you selected. First of all, you're going to want to download the arguments worksheet. Okay, you'll do that by clicking on the uh, download link, save it to a place on your computer where you want it to be saved, and then you'll want to open it. All right, and taking a peek at it, you'll see there are six different questions. And in order to begin the assignment, you need to open up the uh, links in the library. So you do this by uh, scrolling over the university library button or link there and then click on control and then click it okay and that will launch the uh, readings that you need to read as you can see there the topic is facial recognition technology and the two arguments are right here for you one is a pro argument and one is a con argument you can read the arguments by clicking on each link Okay, and that opens it in our library. Okay, so here's the article. You'll want to uh, open it up and read it, review it thoroughly. Okay, you'll want to do the same for the second, the con argument. Okay, familiarize yourself with the arguments uh, that are against using facial recognition. Okay, and once you've familiarized yourself with both of the articles, go back to our worksheet. <clears throat> you'll notice that all of the responses you need to write need to be between 75 and 125 words long okay in order to insert your answers just click inside the box and start notice that each different answer refers back to either the pro article or the con article for example for the for number one it says identify the author and the source of the pro facial recognition article do you think this author slash source is credible why or why not okay so look at the authoritativeness of the author look at when it was published look at uh, what type of credentials the author brings to the table etc okay number two name one premise so one argument uh, or piece of reasoning evidence uh, provided in the pro facial recognition article and discuss whether this premise is sound or weak or irrelevant and why okay so be thorough in your response be thorough in your analysis of that one premise okay next uh, you'll do the same with the con article in terms of evaluating the author and one premise okay next you'll answer which of these articles do you feel met all of the criteria of a strong argument and those criteria are clear relevant credible complete and sound so go through each of those criteria and talk about those different elements and what you viewed in the article that correlated with each of those elements okay finally after reviewing and analyzing both articles answer the question what do you think is the value of understanding multiple viewpoints before forming an opinion or argument so um, if you have any questions just let me know about anything in the articles and then uh, don't forget to go down to the add content button when you're done with your submission and upload it so that it can be viewed if you'd like to view the rubric to see how your grade your assignment will be assessed go ahead and click on that rubric and then you can examine the different criteria being used for each uh, set of points all right have a great day out there again if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the messages section text me call me or email me have a great day out there. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.